Hello again, this is Robert Veach here. This is my unboxing and video review of the KAIW EETS brand, their KM601 digital multimeter voltmeter smart electrical tester. Measures voltage, current, resistance, continuity, duty cycle, capacitance, temperature, frequency. It's auto ranging and it measures true RMS. Now this is a pretty unique product, uh, this KM601, and you'll see why when I take this out of the package the way it looks. So we have included six AA batteries and a little instruction manual that looks pretty thick and pretty comprehensive. We're going to learn all about this, we're going to be reading this. And then this nice little holder with a zipper compartment on there, which is really great. And there's the meter itself. Now what you notice know right off the bat is how small this is and how nice and organized this whole thing is with the thermocouple temperature and the probes. We're going to show close-ups of that. But look at the style of this unit. It's extremely unique. I've never seen, I've got about 50 multimeters over the years. It's the first time I've ever seen one that has this thin profile like this and even has an LED light in here. So we're going to we'll put the batteries in here and we're going to test this out. Let's just go over some of the specifications of this. It has a smart mode. The multimeter defaults to smart mode. In smart mode, the meter can test voltage resistance and continuity automatically. It can identify the measurement content and selects the range with the best resolution so you don't have to do anything. And that's nice, there's no uh, knobs to turn. Has audible and visual indication of non-contact AC voltage testing and live wire testing. Quickly checks for presence of live voltage. Has a built-in LED flashlight. So what that means is you can put this up to a 120 volt, 220 volt, 240 volt circuit, and it'll somehow detect it, and we're gonna test that out. The light above the corresponding jack will flash intelligently to help you insert the test leads. And you can see there is indicators right there. Uh, you can see 10 amps, milliamps, common, and has all the other ones right here, voltage, current. And you can see the probes right there where it gets plugged right in. Never seen that before. This voltmeter has a large LCD color screen, which is unique. And uh, it has a flash light, as I mentioned. And so you can be in dim places and still use it. And this will have also an analog bar and real-time temperature and low battery prompt and damage fuse prop. Now, I don't know how many times I've gone to use and measure current on a traditional multimeter and I don't get any current and I'm like, boy, that's weird. Then I realize I blew the fuse out. So this is going to tell you whether you have a fuse that blown in these categories of 10 amps or milliamp setting. That's really nice. Now, this is a suitable for automotive and diagnostic work, industrial, household electrical problems. The CAM-601 can accurately measure AC or DC voltage, resistance, continuity, AC or DC current, capacitance, frequency, diodes, duty cycle, temperature, and uh, live wire measurements, and true RMS values of a signal. This is IEC rated, so it's very safe. Category 3, 1000 volts. Category 4, 600 volts. C certified and ROHS certified. Anti-burn with double fuses and overload protection. Silicone cover provides additional drop protection and it comes with that cover on right there. So if you take that cover off, it's even smaller profile. This company provides a three year after sales service and technical support. The digital multimeter is included with six AA bears I mentioned. Comes in a carrying case, two cable leads, a user manual and a thermocouple. So it looks like to take the cover, to put the batteries in, you have to take the cover off. You can just see how small the profile of this is. And I want to point out that the manual does mention that it does come with a three year warranty, which is great. So we're going to have to unscrew that screw right there and insert the batteries in the proper place. So I use the small screwdriver on that screw right there and it comes right off. And it looks like the unit uses three batteries. So it looks like they gave you an extra set, which is really nice. Didn't expect that. So we're gonna just put it in here like you'd expect. Negative to negative, positive to positive. Like that. 
And I like to spin it for oxidation. You can see the meter already came on. And let's put this back in place with the back going in first, just like that. And then it drops down and you put the screw like that clockwise. And you're all set. Now the unit is on, we're gonna put the cover, safety the cover back on. So first we're gonna show the use of the thermocouple unit and powering the unit on. So I'm gonna hold this button down right here. And it comes on, you see it comes on to auto. When you wanna use the thermocouple, the best thing to do is to take it out of the auto mode, holding that button right there. And now it's in the non-auto mode. Now you can hit this button right here and you see that with the ohms and the little indicator moves up and we're gonna move this across where it says centigrade and Fahrenheit and we're gonna put that on the ground and on the plus right there and now it's measuring temperature and you can see I've got Fahrenheit on the top 66 and centigrade 19 so when you touch the thermocouple it rises so this is gonna measure ambient temperature if it's just in the air or surface temperature or liquid temperature if you put it in liquid. Now to operate the flashlight, which is on the back right there, you just hold this button down like that and it comes on. Nice little touch so that you have some illumination if you're in a dark area where you've got some wires that you gotta test. There is an auto power off function right here. You could turn that on and off by holding it pushing that and it goes off or you can turn it back on so that'll prevent the unit from auto powering off uh, with inactivity and that's good to have that because it's really annoying sometimes when meters just shut themselves down now we're going to test some measurements here we're still in the manual mode and we're still measuring temperature it remembers the last temperature let's swing this down let's put it to ohms right there which is the second one now we're going to put the included probe, the minus, there's uh, caps on here to keep it clean. Put the minus there, now we're going to put the plus right there. And now we're on ohms because we changed the setting right there. And let's see if we can measure some resistance. So I have a little resistance box right here. Let's just try this out right now and put it across the resistance right there. And you can see it went to 15 ohms and that is correct. If I go to the medium, that's 10K, that is correct. And the high is about 151K and that's correct also. There's the K symbol right there. So that's how you measure basic resistance. Now if you want to do a test for whether something is a short circuit or not, let's go to the symbol right there where it's, it's uh, in the manual mode and you could, and it gives you an indicator and it lets you know that that's a short. Of course, that could be anything, anything that's conductive, even this screwdriver will show me that. So that's handy when you're just checking things and making sure that something is a short circuit. Now let's try another function, uh, diode. So let's advance that to the diode position right there. I don't know if the camera's picking that up. And here I have a diode. So when you put the polarity the negative on the negative, the positive on the positive of a diode. See what it shows? It shows that it has 0.59 volts across it, and that's a good diode. If it was a bad diode, it wouldn't show anything. So if you put the opposite polarity, then it just sits there. So that's a way to test diodes right inside a circuit, that they're functional and what the voltage drop across them is. That's a nice function. Now I move the display to capacitance, so it's thrown to the capacitance. And I have two capacitors that are labeled. This should be about 0.56 microfarad. So if I put it across there, 
see it's 599.2 and it's on nanofarad so if you move that across three you get about 0.6 microfarad and here's a 0.01 and that's showing 10 if you move that across you get 0.01 microfarad because it's defaulted to nanofarad you could also change the range of that to So what's nice about this is that uh, I have another tester and this alone is $65, $70. So that one function is built right into this meter. That's nice. So now we're in voltage. We're still in the manual mode. We don't have it in the smart mode yet. So let's just see how it measures. This is a old nine volt battery. And that's correct. It's showing me seven volts DC. And if we take a look at the battery that came with this meter, the extra set it's 1.624 which is a brand new battery voltage so that's your basic DC voltage we're going to be testing some AC voltage on here also now this has an auto function on here that we're going to test right now and the smart mode should be able to detect voltage resistance and continuity so let's put this in the smart mode. I'm going to hold this down right here. And now you see that smart mode is kind of making a decision right there on the display. So let's go back to that 9 volt battery. So I, I didn't tell it that I'm measuring voltage. Let's see what happens. So it instantly went to voltage automatically. And it showed the 7 volts again. And if we reverse the polarity, it shows it again. And it, and it puts a big minus symbol over there. So the auto mode worked for voltage, which is really nice. And let's see if we just put that same battery on there. We're still in the auto mode because it says smart mode right there. Let's put that included battery on there. And went to auto and it shows 1.62 volts. And I had the wrong polarity. If I put the correct polarity on there, there it is, 1.62 volts. Very nice, very simple. Let's say I wanted to test continuity and I wanted to see if the uh, smart mode would do that. So I close this down right here on this contact and it goes to auto and then instantly does continuity for me. So that saves me the time of switching things around. Now what about the other auto function that it has or the smart mode? Let's put this on now let's put it on 15 ohms. Let's see what happens in the smart mode. And there you go. So now it went to, res to uh, resistance and it gave me the actual resistance number. So that's nice. So you don't have to be messing around with settings. You can just go right up to something and measure continuity, voltage, or resistance with this meter. That's really nice. Now I'm still in the manual mode and I moved it across to the NCV Live, where there's the little sensor right there. So here is an AC outlet. So right there is letting me know that there's high voltage right there. So that's nice, so that you don't even have to touch the wire, it, just, it senses that there's high voltage. So there's a little magnetic field sensor in there, it's sensing the pulsing of the 120 hertz, or the 60 hertz, 120 volts, and it gives you an indication of that. That's a handy feature to have. Now we're going to try to measure current. I've got this relatively dead battery and I have it connected in series to the different resistances right here. And I have the meter turned to milliamps. And when I first did that, displayed right here telling me to plug it in properly. So you can see it lights up right there telling me that's amps. And if I go to milliamps again, Tells me that I have to have the leads right there. So I'm gonna put keep the common where I had it. And I'm gonna move this lead over to the milliamp position right there. And it acknowledged that and gave a beep. So now we're gonna uh, put some current through here. Let's see, I've got the current going through this nine volt battery. And you can see 30, 43 milliamps right there. 
So that's the little bit of current I've got going through. If I lower the resistance, it's going to go up to 66 milliamps. So that's a real simple way to measure milliamps. Just make sure you change it and put the plus lead where it says milliamps. Now, if we wanted to go into amps, we put it into the amp position. And you notice it even sends it automatically. This thing went to amps. And let's lower down that resistance. I don't know how much we'll be able to get out of this bad battery but so you see it responded so it is producing 0.02 amps so you have a choice of amps or milliamps and then you just move this across and it even tells you it automatically switch to amps for me so it doesn't get any simpler than that so now I'm by my lab right here and I have a frequency counter right there and a frequency generator which you know costs a lot of money and this meter right here has it built right in. So I changed the function and I'm on Hertz and you can see it's showing 4.86 kilohertz and that's actually what I'm on. It's matching my other unit pretty close and it's also showing me 50% because I'm on a square wave and all of these settings are at 50% duty cycle. So I could change this frequency right here on the knob and you see it changes on the meter. So that's a nice function and that's going to save you a lot of money because you don't have to have a separate frequency counter or you can figure out the percentage of the duty cycle of the wave. Very nice. So after testing this thing, all the features, trying everything out and looking at the quality of this, I really like this product. This K-A-I-W-E-E-T-S brand, their smart digital multimeter, the model KM601 is really a great value, really impressed with it. The form factor is amazing, the display is amazing, the auto detection, the status LED showing you everything that you're plugging into, the thermal couple that comes with, free extra set of batteries, the nice holder that zippers and allows you to keep everything, the instruction manual of this unit was very nicely written also. Now let's not forget this company provides a three year warranty on this product and the test leads were very high quality. So I'm gonna give this product a full five star rating. Please remember hit the subscribe button and the bell icon to learn to do video uploads. And if you like this review, please hit the like button. I hope the information I presented helped you with all your buying decisions. Thanks for watching.